On the New Year's Eve, as the country was in celebrations, men with pangas and others with guns surrounded the Seventh-day Adventist land in Nansana Town Council that harbors advanced microfinance, breaking down the perimeter wall. As it is known by the Seventh-day Adventist believers, they had gone for the Sabbath rest when the demolition took place. After two days, other men came through and started the excavations. And it is at this point that the Seventh day Adventist Church realized that the matter was serious. Reporting to police, the men in uniform promised to take action but did not. Boarded up the place uh, with the iron sheets after demolishing the wall. And uh, the police promised that they would be able to monitor what was going on. So by that time, whoever was working had dispersed, we couldn't find anybody. We brought the matters to the attention of our lawyers. We also informed um, uh, the, the different stakeholders that we have. But on the following day, which is now Wednesday, when we came here, they had uh, started excavating some holes. We thought they were maybe going to put back the perimeter wall or something. We had not received any communication from anybody. We wanted to know who was behind all this. Talking to UBC TV, the Seventh Adventist Church raises concern over land grabbing and encroachment on church land. As a church, we call all authorities and the government to protect the church and the church property. It is unfortunate that this is something new in Uganda. You are all aware of what happened in Indeba. Up to now, nothing is happening, and now it has come into the Southern Adventist Church. This is the Southern Adventist property. Adra, Uganda, is an institute of the Southern Adventist Church. The land in question houses the headquarters of the Advanced Microfinance, a financial institution owned by the church relief agency, Adra, Uganda. Uh, keeping in mind this history, uh, Adra, through Advance, has been on this property for over 15 years having peaceful and quiet possession without any form of hindrance from the local officers in the area or from the neighbors until only 31st when we received this kind of uh, illegal and illegitimate acts from the so-called Mr. Drake Lubega. I contacted on phone. In response, Drake Lubega denies owning land in Nansana.